like i just want to say just be free free yourself don't care what nobody else thinks like you can't live your life for nobody else you can't. You have to do what makes you happy, what's freeing for you, and what brings you peace. Okay? It's 2023, y'all. Like, we can't keep settling for things. We can't keep doing the things that we hate the most or don't like. It's your girl Jenny Bree and I am back with another video. As you can tell by the title, I don't know what the title gonna be. So I ain't even finna lie to y'all right now. <laughs> this is kind of like a business chit chat video. Um, I've done one of these videos before and I think that it did a really good job. Um, so I'm about to do another one of those again. I got my drink, okay. This is some Hennessy and cranberry juice. I'm not condoning any drinking, none of that, but I'm about to have me a drink, okay? It's been a long day. It's 6 o'clock. Well, it's 5.50, but it's 6 o'clock. Y'all know black folks just love wrapping stuff up and just eat. Y'all know how it go. It's 6 o'clock, okay? Um, I just got off work like maybe an hour ago, and... I just feel like I need to come home and have me a drink. I feel like I just wanted to get on camera. I'm in a talkative mood. So we're going to get right into it. I know everything backwards. Um, we know. So it's got to get her camera. We know, we know, we know. I got to wear this hat because my hair is, like my lace is showing up with this light beaming on it. Like it's showing really, really light. And I don't like that. So I had to put this hat on. But, yeah, like, I just wanted to come here and talk to y'all. Like, how y'all been? I know to my subscribers, anybody that really be watching my videos, anybody that really F with me, like, y'all probably wondering, like, where you been? I just pretty much just been, I had to pretty much take a break from social media. Um, That's Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, like, snapchat any social medias that i have i just kind of had to take a break because i was just trying to figure things out life was in a very 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 deep like depression episode hold on a second somebody at my door like and i'm gonna take my time because people know don't come to my house unless you call me because baby i will not answer the door but i'm gonna answer so i'll be right back okay i'm back <laughs> That was somebody trying to deliver some pizza. Um, they end up coming to the wrong door. So, yeah, he like, I'm so sorry. Because I'm like, I know ain't nobody ringing my doorbell. And they ain't telling me they just coming over here. I don't know. I just I just don't like that. Am I the only person like that? I just really do not like that. Do not just show up to my house, okay? I don't have that type of household. Do not just show up at my house. Let me know you're coming, okay? But what was I saying? Um... See, I'm out of breath, having to run down on stairs. Okay. So, yes, yeah, like, I was in a very, like, deep, depressive state. I was very, 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 very depressed. And those those of you guys who know, let me, I'm just not, I'm going to talk to everybody like they knew. So, I work a job. I work a, I'm a school bus driver. So, honestly, I hate my job. I hate it. I hate it so bad. I've always been that kind of person that like hated every job I ever had. Like I've never been happy with anything that I've done. Like I've tried everything. Like y'all, I literally tried to like find my passion going the whole nine to five route. Um, and I just was never happy with anything. Like I've worked in restaurants. I've worked in warehouses. I'm a school bus driver now. Um, I've worked in retail. I have did customer service, like in the call centers. They was just never for me. And it's like, I was just never happy with any other jobs I had. And I realized now today that every job I ever had, I've never had a long-term like vision for it. I've never seen it being, being something that I can do long-term. Even like right now, driving the school buses. I make good money, but I never came in like, oh, okay. Like, this this the place. This it. Like, I've always seen it as something temporarily, you know? And so, like, I was just in a very depressive state for, like, the past few months. Um, 
just trying to figure out life and what I really wanted to do. Like, my bad, y'all. I had got a phone call. That's my bad. But, um, so like I was saying, like, I just pretty much just came to the conclusion, um, like, entrepreneurship has just always been in me. You know, I've always seen myself, like, just being this boss as woman, like, living in my luxury condo, my luxury townhome, like, driving my luxury car, just doing, live, doing and living life on my own terms, traveling the world. Like, that's something I absolutely love to do. I love, 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 love to travel, and I love to just have time on my hands, you know? And it's like, I just know that I don't want to work a nine to five. Like, I'm going to be a millionaire, okay? Mark my words. Like, I'm going to be a multi-millionaire. And I can't do that working on my job, working a nine to five, you know what I'm saying? And limiting myself. I just can't do it. So, I first started Brianni Collections, um, which is my cosmetics business, because I started this business back in 2019, because I just always knew I wanted something of my own again. So, like... I started that business, ran that business. This is when I didn't know anything about business, like nothing about business. Like I just found a vendor, did a couple, uh, watched a couple YouTube videos, founded a vendor, found it, found a vendor and just ordered products and just started selling lashes. Get on Facebook. Hey, I got lashes. Snapchat. I got lashes. Who want to buy some lashes? And it's like, I ain't going to lie. As soon as I started selling lashes, like, where I'm at, that I started noticing like everybody selling lashes. I don't know if these people been selling lashes and I just ain't know about it. But all of a sudden, like I just started, everybody started selling lashes or lip glosses or something. But anyway, so like, yeah, like I just always been a hustler. Always, always, always been a hustler. And I knew I wanted to create something on my own. So that's why I started the cosmetics business. My cosmetics business did well. You know, it's, it did well as a side hustle. But it wasn't nothing that obviously I was able to replace my 9 to 5 income with. So, you know what I'm saying? Hence the fact that I'm still working. So I was like, nah, like, it's not cutting it for me. And then, like, I'm going to do another video, too, where I talk about, like, the different um type of like businesses and business owners so like pretty much with Randy collections it's like i got tired of working in that business too even as a side hustle like it's still here it's still alive like i have inventory but i have not launched yet because i don't want to do the back end work like i know as soon as i launch i'm gonna have to package orders make lip glosses hand i make i hand make all my lip glosses i'm gonna have to hand make lip glosses and just prep orders and just do so much and i don't want to do that no more like really my goal in life is not to work i don't want to work i don't and i just want to make money i just want my money to work for me that's what it is and i just want to take the money and travel the world travel literally travel the freaking world that's what i really want to do that's my passion that's what makes me happy so like I noticed that with Brianna Collections, I couldn't do that. So then I started doing like further research, further research, further research. Like, what can I do like to just make money? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just have money coming in and I'm not doing nothing. So that's when I had stumbled upon Airbnb, studied up on Airbnb for like a year. And then um, I finally invested into my Airbnb unit because I figured out how to get funding and stuff like that to do it. Um, so I finally had got my Airbnb unit and I am loving it y'all. Like I got my Airbnb, it's out in Houston, Texas and I live in Illinois, nowhere near Texas, but like, and I'm just getting paid. I'm literally just getting paid. I don't do anything and I, I absolutely love it. So, you know, now we're about to get ready to expand. I'm about to go get some more units out in Texas, um, and just get paid, you know? And then, so it's like. I have Airbnb automated. So now I'm the type of person, I'm such a business woman. I'm like, okay, now what other, what other business can I start? So, you know, I started doing like brainstorming. Um, and I kind of found a new passion just playing around with it. But I want to teach. I want to teach women specifically financial literacy and just knowing like how depressed that I was, you know, just knowing like that feeling of depression from working a nine to five, like, I literally was at a point where I felt like I could not breathe going to work. Like, literally felt like I could not breathe. Like, do y'all know that feeling? Has that ever happened to y'all before where you feel like you just cannot breathe, bro? Like, y'all, like, I've, I'm have i still, you know, working my way out of that point. But 
Like, I just hope and pray that I do not get back to, like, that depressive point. So, like, that's kind of, like, another reason why I came up with my business, Hello Wealthy Woman, which is my business where I want to teach people about financial literacy and te teach people ways to escape that lifestyle, bro. Like, that's no lifestyle for no one. And, of course, like, entrepreneurship businesses are let and all of that is not for everyone. However, for those that like really have a burning desire to quit their nine to five and just, you know, do what they want to do and just have that freedom and just feel free, y'all. Like mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, just free to do whatever y'all like. Whew, I just want to scream. Like, do anybody feel me? Do anybody feel me? Because this is really like the main reason, the main passion behind me starting Hello Wealthy Woman. Like, I want to teach people how to escape that shit, bro. Like, literally. Like, because the way the way I felt, I don't want nobody else to feel like that. And I be thinking, like, do everybody feel like this? But nah, because you have people that actually be genuinely happy with, like, their nine to fives or careers. You know, they go to school route. Right? They go to college, get in a career, and they actually love it. And I love that for them. I love that for you guys, anyone who... You know what I'm saying? Has a career and they actually love what they do. But um, yeah, so like that's what made me come up with Hello Wealthy Woman. Um, you know, just to teach people, y'all, like teach people how to get in different positions and just change their lives, y'all. Like I've done hours and hours and years of research on this information, and I'm like, I'm about to teach it now. You know, like so it's just it's a lot, it's a lot, and. Um, I just wanted to get on video and talk about it. So like I'm going to be doing a lot of rebranding. Hence, like I say, um, you know, the whole brownie collection things, the whole brownie collections. I based my YouTube around that. But now I'm about to expand and talk about so much other things. Like I'm about to start bringing financial literacy to the channel, teaching y'all how y'all can get business funding to fund y'all businesses, teaching y'all how to repair y'all credits and how to invest into Airbnb specifically, or even start your own consulting business. Um, and yeah, just different ways that you can invest money to get paid like just pretty much my methods of things that i'm teaching is how you can get money to work for you so all passive income that's what i teach i don't teach people how to start a business and i mean unless that's your passion if you don't mind working in your business because okay look so i said i was gonna make a separate video which i still am but you could start a business me for instance i started my cosmetics business so say for instance my business did really pick up and was booming and i was able to quit my nine to five guess what i quit my nine to five that working lifestyle just to work for a business that I made which is cool but that can still become depressing and get to a point to where you don't like it and so now you're not being consistent you're not motivated anymore you know what I'm saying so like I you can start a business and still be in like that side that same like loophole that same trap if that makes sense so like like I said, I just don't want that for myself. So what I'm doing is I'm teaching people how to make money work for them. They don't have to dedicate no time to making money. So that's what I teach. And if you want to learn how, um, click the link down below in my bio. I'm going to add the link, hellowealthywoman.co. You can enter your email to um, be notified when we do launch. Launch date is March 1st. I decided to launch in Women's History Month because um, it's a business for women. It's a community for women. So, um, yeah, like I'm about to bring financial literacy to the channel, just everything of that nature. I'm about to do like a lot of fashion hauls. I'm going to show y'all when I travel, just my lifestyle um, and different things of like business, you know, Um so yeah, like I'm just, I'm not limiting myself anymore. I'm about to just play around with a few things, but um, yeah, that's pretty much my life. That's my life. That's the update on me, Jada Brownie. Um, and yeah, I just want to say to someone like, if you're in a position where you're stuck in like a nine to five or even just stuck in life in general, like you don't know what you want to do and like you're just trying to find your passion like what you're doing you know you don't like doing it like <sighs> yeah like i feel this shit right now just me saying it like i just want to cry like you know what i'm saying because i just know the feeling and i would hate for someone else to feel that feeling 
Like, it's like no other. It's literally suffocating. But, like, I just want to say, just be free. Free yourself. Don't care what nobody else thinks. Like, you can't live your life for nobody else. You can't. You have to do what makes you happy, what's freeing for you, and what brings you peace. Okay? It's 2023, y'all. Like, we can't keep settling for things. We can't keep doing the things that we hate the most or don't like. Like, find something that brings you happiness, something that brings you peace. Okay? Like, I mean this. Like, from the bottom of my heart, y'all. Like, so I've made a huge decision, y'all, to quit my job. I put in my two weeks. I put in my two weeks. What's today? I put it in, what's today? The 10th. So I put it in on the 5th, the 6th, whatever Monday, the 6th. I put it in on the 6th. So my last day working my job is February 17th. <sighs> Y'all, like, and I thought, honestly, it hasn't registered yet. I'm going to do a video on that too. It hasn't registered yet for me that I'm literally quitting. Like, I have four more days. I have four more days, right? Four more days working my job. It has not registered. But honestly, what I can say, I feel so free. Like, it's like I just feel something heavy, like, just on me. Like, this huge weight on me. And, like, the closer I get to this day, like, the more freeing. Like, the more, like, it's just, I'm becoming more uplifted. Like, I don't feel just, I don't feel trapped anymore. Like, I don't feel mentally trapped, physically trapped. Like, I'm just, honestly, I can say that I'm at a point to where I finally feel free. Like, I'm content. I'm at peace with my decision. And I just feel so happy about it. Like, <laughs> I honestly just feel so happy about it. I can cry. Like, I never, well, I always knew that I would get to this point. And I was going to quit last year, but I didn't. And so now I've been held back for another year. Um, but honestly, I try not to even think about it like that because I feel like things happen when it's supposed to happen. So like maybe last year, um, like I would have quit my job and I probably would be in a completely different space right now. I probably wouldn't even have my Airbnb unit. I probably wouldn't even have thought to start my consulting business, you know? So like it took, I had... It took me a little longer. I needed more time to really figure things out and what I wanted to do. Because honestly, six months ago, I would have never thought that I was, I would be, um, like, I would have created my consulting business, you know? So, um, yeah, but I just say, just always go with your gut. Just always, 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 always go with your gut feeling. Um, like I say, I'm just happy right now. I'm filled with so much joy for making this decision. Um, I trust in my decision. The universe has been showing me signs that I'm making the right decision. So I don't really feel um, like I don't have a feeling of like regret or am I doing the right thing? Or da, da, da. Now, it is kind of weird because I'm used to always working a job like for someone. I've never been like like i say i've always had some type of business or side hustle but that's all it was like i've never been like a full-time entrepreneur and i'm taking that leap like i'm taking that leap 2023 it's about me my peace my happiness what i want to do becoming the woman that i want to be i'll be 26 this year like that's young but to me it's like no nah, we got to figure it the fuck out okay we finna be touching 30 soon like i'm not finna be 30 doing something that i just do not like to do like, I'm, I'm not finna do that. And I recommend you not do that either. So, like, yeah, like, I just, I just, I can't, y'all. I can't. And I, I so I'm gonna scream my last day of work. Like, I wanna scream now and just let it out. Cause it's like, it's still like that weight kind of still sitting on me a little bit. But, like, yeah, like, and I haven't told nobody my decision but one person. I told one person, but I have not told anyone about this decision. Like, it's just going to be it. Like, once my business is launched or, you know, once things start working in my favor, then I will make the announcement, like, back in such and such, I quit my job, da, 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 da. But that's my story. That's my story. This is my story. And... Like, I just had to get on camera and just talk to y'all. Like, I hope somebody feel me. I know somebody feel me. Like, just do what makes you happy, y'all. Please, 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 please. Just do. Just do what makes you happy. 
and I think that's pretty much it. Like, I just needed to vent. I feel like this is a session, a video where I needed to vent, but I hoped it like helped someone or motivated someone to like take that leap of faith. Like, you have to believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm the type of person like if I want something, I'm gonna get it. Okay, I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do to get it done. So yeah, if you somebody like me, just take that leap of faith, y'all. Like, believe in yourself and just, yeah, do whatever the fuck you're passionate about, okay? I mean that shit. Don't live your life based on, like, other people. Don't care if somebody finna judge you like, oh, you deserve it. Who cares? Do what makes you happy, what brings you peace. That's what matters at the end of the day. So yeah but that's all i got for y'all in this video thank y'all so much for tuning into this video i will see y'all in the next one um the next video that's to come honestly i don't even know but um i probably teach y'all about like some financial some some financial literacy stuff um and just different things that y'all could do to you know change your life around um and yeah thank y'all i will see y'all in the next video